Welcome back to Beyond Territory. It's Doug again. Um, and I want you to do something a little bit different today. Um, I got a new box of destroyers, Catastrophe destroyers from my Adeptus Mechanicus army for 40k. And I thought I'll take you through how I paint things. First time I've had this set, my Adeptus Mechanicus army is fairly new. I've probably got about a thousand points so far. So I'm just starting to hit try to push towards the 1500 mark as my next stage and these will, these bad boys will help me out. So I always start with my Mechanicus with a base colour of Iron Warriors, um, just get a metallic base coat going. So I've done my base coat in Iron Warrior, I always paint in batches so I've done all three of them at the same time. Um, so next thing I'd like to do is chuck on some Mephiston Red. Uh, all the red areas, picking them up first. Uh, so the great thing about Games Workshop figures, or well, any figures really, is that you can kind of, you paint them however you like to paint them. Uh, I'm going to follow the box art loosely. Um, I'll do two, two thin coats, in the words of Duncan Rhodes. I've done the fist and red. Now what I'm going to do is a bit of rack off flesh. So with the rack of flesh, it's coming in this under part. My next colour is Balthasar Gold. So my aim for my painting is always battle ready really. I'm not a golden demon painter by far. It's three foot fabulous is what I'm aiming for. That I can get it done, I'm happy with it and I get it on the table ready to play with, which is what we all want to do, isn't it really? Play. Next colour I'm going to bring in is a bit of bad and black. Uh, and it's going to go on the chest of the armour, a bit on the guns. So coming in with the black. And on the weapon. Next colour I'm going to come in with is Lead Belcher. I'm just going to go over some of the ends of the barrel, some of the metallic bits that are on, as well as I also do the tank tracks as well, or the tracks. On here. Again, tidy up any it's a red that I've got on there by accident or any other rack off flesh or something like that. Something I need to do but I forgot was the flesh. And I use a bit of rack off flesh for this. And for, and for lenses and parts of the plasma etc I'm going to use the contrast paint Ultramarine's blue. So I'm going to come in with a couple of washes. First one, Reichland Flesh for the face. And for bits of the brass that are on the weapons as well. Next shade is Agrax Earth Shade, and I'm going to go over the entire model with this. Um, and I'm quite, take some of the excess off, I'm quite liberal with it, I'll start with the bottom, the tracks, and over the weapon, the rest of it. So I'm just going to go back in on the flat areas with the fist and red. I really want to keep the shadows um, that are pulled and created in the creases. And the next colour I'm coming in with is a little bit of Yashanti bone onto the lower part of the destroyer. And I'm just going to take the edges, keep the shadows in. Next colour, Eva Sun's Scarlet. And what I'm going to do for that is a little bit of edge highlighting. Um, so you change my brush, I have a slightly thinner brush. 
and I'm just going to come in and at an angle lightly drag on all the sharp edges. I'm now going to come in with a little bit of Calgar blue on uh, the lenses and parts of the heavy grab gun. And I'm just going to go on the top edges of these cells. So it's got the dark blue underneath and the light blue on top. And I'm taking a fine point. You can change brush if you want, but I'm going to try have a go with this one. And on the lenses, just to one side. I'm now going to come in with the Retributor armor, and that's for the bronze piece uh, parts. And I'm just going to lightly add in little highlights on parts of the bronze bits. Let's try and get that back in focus. I'm doing. They come in Mechanica Standard Grey, and that's for the black parts. Um, edge highlighting where I can, using the side of my brush, picking out some of the edge. The next colour is coming in with a little bit of chain mail. And on here, I'm just going to edge highlight some of the tracks, bits of the gun, and some of the brass on the tips. Only a few more colours to go now, and what I'm going to focus on now is a bit of white. Um, a bit of white on the Mechanicum symbol. Next colour is Wild Rider Red, and that's just come in edge highlighting with the Wild Rider, just on the fine points. It's a little bit of Wraith Bone for the skin, edge highlight. For the basin, using your technical Martian Iron Earth, and I just slap it on down, work it in. So here's my finished piece. I finished off um, a bit of white back into the emblem of the Mechani Mechanicus. Okay. Three foot fabulous for me. Um, ready to go on the tabletop. There you go, there's my squad. Quite happy with them. I could go on more, put more detail into them, but for, for now, they look decent enough from, for me and for people I play with. So, you know, if you can aim to a standard that you're happy with, that you feel like you've achieved something and you can play with them, then don't give yourself too much of a hard time when painting. All right. Enjoy what you do. Take care. Hope you enjoy this one. Hope you pick out some ideas. Any comments, please chuck them below. Um, happy to get some feedback or share, share some ideas. That'd be great. Um, yeah, and if you enjoy what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.